What's up, everybody? Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. Um, our Jeep Dash. Finally going to get some paint today. So right now we're going to hit it with some 220 grit sandpaper. And then we're going to, you know, whatever. I also got another cool shit going on. We're going to do another GMC Sierra, a.k.a. Chevy Silverado dash. I was going to start a Tacoma dash also, but uh, I got the wrong kit, so I have to wait on that. Um, all right. How do you feel about my two dashes I lined up today? Let's see. He's, he's, like plastic. he's happy because he made a lot of money. How yeah, do you feel? If you line up the right parts, I'd be happy. It's none of your business. Now you're going to try to only buy one kit instead of two because of, you can't start the Toyota now. So you're going to be like, hey, I, can, I have to pay you later. Say, say, if you buy both kits, I'll eat your ass. And I'll if buy you buy both. both kits, I will eat your ass. Okay. Let me pay him right now. I'll be back. Guys, I have a little complaint for you guys. I see a lot of messages that say, uh, wear a dust mask. Shut the fuck up, let me live my fucking life and let me die in peace. All right guys, so I sanded it. This material, it's like a gummy material and it leaves a lot of feathers when you sand. So it's gonna need a good amount of, the primer takes it off. So that's how it is after the first uh, sand. It's almost there, it's probably gonna need one more thick layer of primer and then, uh, We'll, we'll color sand it again and I think it'll be baby but smooth. So we'll go ahead and spray it now. And you see you guys know I'm not wearing a mask again. You see the little feathers? They'll go away though. So Doug just beat my ass, so I'm gonna go out of breath. We got the Jeep Dash. He put, uh, what is this called, Doug? Spot putty. Spot, spot putty on there to cover some scratches and whatnot. We're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna sand it, and then hit it with another heavy layer of primer, and I think that should be the last one. Hey, what? This is the spot putty that I use. I don't know if you guys can see the brand. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's fucking Nitro Stand or whatever. Nitro Stain, like my car. Yeah. Yeah. Nitro Stain, put the cap on it. Nah. Yeah! We're gonna put that cap up your butt hole, dude. Hey, what's up, everybody? Safety first. First and foremost, safety first. I'm gonna hit it with 220. Make sure you sand everything. Alright, guys. Like I said, like I've always said in all my videos, safety first. So always wear a mask. So you see how the little hairs are gone now, pretty much? Alright guys, so it's getting later on the day now. It's almost time to wrap it up. The dash is looking really good. But it needs one more primer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit it with the last primer and then just let it let it dry overnight and you know paint it next time. But uh, I tried, I tried to finish it for you guys, but it doesn't always work out that way, man. Bums me out too. Here goes the last spray. I'm gonna fog this one on. So you kind of build up high. Here's a little tip for you guys. Right now I just it's still wet from the from the fog coat that I put in there. While it's still wet, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of black. 
uh, what is it called, Doug? Guide code. A guide code for guys only. All right, guys. So basically, what the black does is become a guide coat. So when I come back and I sand it, I'm gonna sand it with a 400 grit until it's all gray, so until it's all it's all smooth primer, and then any low spot that are there are gonna remain black. So that's what the what it's for. So once you do that, when you do that, the the paint jobs are smooth like Doug's mom's butt. Whoa, whoa. So that's going to wrap up the video for today, man. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, appreciate it. Catch us next time.